A Redditor online may have just discovered a potential huge spoiler for all of the Game of Thrones spinoff. Now apparently this was found on ArtStation.com by a Redditor named Manowar. So he was browsing and came across this title that suggests that the first spinoff we may be getting for Game of Thrones, well spinoff slash prequel series, will in fact be Aegon's Conquest. Before we get started, I just want to go ahead and announce that I am in fact having a holiday giveaway here on this channel. All you have to do to enter that contest is check out the link down below and then follow all of those ways to enter the contest. Now there's actually five separate winners for this. The first place prize is going to receive a Game of Thrones Monopoly set, shot glasses, and a Daenerys Funko Pop figure. Second place is House Targaryen and House Stark banners, a Daenerys poster, and a Game of Thrones poster. Third place is going to be winning the Ghost Funko Pop figure and a Mini Face God calendar. The two runner-ups will both receive $10 Amazon gift cards. Like I said, make sure you check out that gleam.io link down below in the description and go and follow all those instructions so that you can enter the contest. So I'm not going to sit here and run down the entire summary of events that happened with Aegon's conquest. We all pretty much know how that ended. Basically, Aegon's family was moved to Dragonstone, and then within a few years of that, he decided that he was going to conquer Westeros, and it took him about two years to do so, but he basically united all six kingdoms under one banner, his banner, and united most of Westeros. The only kingdom he wasn't able to bring into the fold was Dorne, and that wasn't, wasn't going to be done until, you know, many years later not in his lifetime so with that being said if this is the case and if this is the spinoff that we will be getting I can't fucking wait now this is to me honestly this is at least three to four seasons of awesomeness you know what I mean we have during this time period it would work perfectly because it's not overdone like in the dance with dragons you know there were dragons everywhere dragons fighting each other so that CGI budget would be insane and you know in my opinion it'd be better off if they make that sort of like a secondary spinoff maybe after this next one of Aegon's Conquest it would be dope to see all of the spinoffs slash prequel series for Game of Thrones revolve around the Targaryen history we do know that in the novels Targaryen history is some of the most well kept basically like how English history is some of the most well kept like we have the most details about European history. It would just make sense to revolve these prequel spin-off series around Targaryen history. We know it's the most well-kept, they have the most well-kept record, and it's the most, um, out of any of the houses in Westeros that George has written back history for, it's House Targaryen. So it'd be awesome to see amazing moments like maybe the burning of Harrenhal, you know, when Aegon basically released his dragons to go and burn hair in the black because he was too stubborn to give up, or maybe the conquest of the Stormlands, um, submission of the North, the submission of the Vale, the invasion of Dorne. I know it sucks because Meraxi dies during the invasion of Dorne, but just imagine how insane that would be, like 10,000 Oberyn Martells marching to take down a dragon. Like, there are so many amazing moments from Aegon's conquest, and if this rumor turns out to be true i think it's a better choice than going with Rob with robert's rebellion because like george r. r martin has said himself by the end of a game of thrones and by the end of a song of ice and fire his book series counterpart it's all of the mysteries of robert's rebellion are going to be up so it's like we'd be watching a show and be able to predict every single thing that's going to happen next now the conquest of Aegon's conquest was pretty well detailed and well kept, but also there are many things that, you know, it was 200 years ago by the time the show picks up, so it only makes sense if there were certain things that were left up to the imagination, and we don't know every single thing that happened. So it would be amazing to see Aegon conquering Westeros. One argument that I can see being made with them choosing Aegon's conquest as a good prequel start is that it will almost feel repetitive a little bit we did just see Daenerys conquer the seven kingdoms the difference with that is, is it took Daenerys seven seasons to even step foot in Westeros and her conquest of Westeros was shit you know what I mean so it's like it, you can kind of think that history will repeat itself and we'll kind of be seeing the same shit on screen but not really Aegon was much more successful and not to mention at the time when Aegon was doing this Westeros was in shambles it was almost like feudal Japan they were warring everywhere there were hundreds of petty kings there was no one ruler and honestly there was bloodshed every day so once Aegon came over yeah there was massive amounts of bloodshed he was burning people alive he was conquering shit he was making them kneel just like Daenerys tries to do but he was successful so he kind of stopped that bloodshed so it's like all of that led up to you know a point of somewhat civility so I think Anyone who has that fear of it being a history repeats itself sort of thing, if they do choose Aegon's Conquest, not to fear. It would almost be like how to conquer Westeros the right way. 
don't get me wrong, I'm not trying to throw salt on Daenerys in how much struggle she's had to do and how far she's come. Not at all. I would never do that to Daenerys. But what I will say is that it just will be amazing to see Westeros in a different time period. You know, back then, this was still when Sister Wives was acceptable. I'm not saying that everyone in Westeros was down to have sex with their sister. No, but Aegon had two Sister Wives, and they also had dragons, and he has a dragon, and that's three dragon riders. So, oh man, I can't talk about this anymore. I'm getting too excited. Now, just like with any of these spoilers or, you know, anything that's released before this season actually comes out, you take it with a grain of salt. This one's a little bit different, so that's why I figured I'd make a video on it. Um, now, this is the actual image that was shown, and it basically says the world of and fire. It's supposed to say the world of ice and fire. And then Game of Thrones underneath that, and then you can see Aegon's Conquest over there in the right. So this was basically found, once again, by the Redditor Man of War 264 and it was on ArtStation.com. Basically, it's on the account of an artist, Vaughn O'Hara, who was the founder of Ascension Animation Studios and one of the project's display logos for up upcoming projects um, was basically this Game of Thrones logo. And, you know, it says Game of Thrones, Aegon's Conquest, Cinematic Fellow fantasy television series either animated or live action now i highly doubt they're going to do one of the spinoffs as animated although i can definitely see them doing an animated production of something to stick on maybe the season 8 dvd so i do think that Aegon's conquest is definitely a valid option for a spinoff you guys let me know what you think down below if it's going to be a spinoff or if you think it'll be more of like an animated series i honestly think that the animated series would do it justice but it would be so much more badass to see a live action version of of Aegon's Conquest. Also, let me know down below who you think will be cast to play Aegon. I vote for Sir Hunts, but I don't exactly have the right skin complexion, nor do I have the right hair tone. But hey, that's what CG's for. Real quick, there actually is some new casting news, courtesy of Watchers on the Wall, brought to my attention by Watchers on the Wall, courtesy of Alina Stark, rather. Um, and it's for a new casting notice for a new character named Sara Frey. Now, I actually did mention this in my live stream the other day, but here's a little bit of background on who Sara Frey is. Sara is one of the many granddaughters of Walder Frey, the Lord of the Crossing. Along with several of Lord Frey's other daughters and granddaughters, Rob Stark had the option of marrying her. When he arrives at the twins for his uncle Edmure's wedding, Rob apologizes for his slight against them. Lord Walder states that Rob could have had either Sara or her identical twin sister, Sarah. Or he could have had them both for all Walder Frey cared. Honestly, Walder Frey was a bit of a horn dog, and he kind of just wanted to get rid of some of his kids. He had a lot of kids and shit that stayed with him at the Twins, so he wanted Rob to marry, you know, at least one of them. If not, Rob could have had two wives. Polygamy out in this bitch. Now, I definitely don't think that she's going to be Sarah Frey from the books. However, if she is, she could be brought into play when Jamie. In, if instead of going straight north, he goes to the Riverlands to maybe try to get some recruits from Edmure and company, like maybe he tries to get Edmure to join his fight to go and help John and Daenerys and Sansa, and then, you know, he'll realize that there's only women left because obviously Arya killed all the male Freys, and maybe Sara Frey is one of the ones who walks up and explains to him what happened. Other than that, I could, I think it honestly might just be a name drop, like for book fans as a reference, you know what I mean? It's like maybe one of these characters, there wasn't, actor who is said to have a scene with the leading cast member and they're supposed to have like an endearing moment basically a heartfelt scene maybe this is Sara Frey playing that role either way you guys let me know what you think down below in the comment section do you think she'll be Sara Frey from the books or do you think she'll just be a character mentioned in passing like oh her name's Sara not a Frey but just like a name book drop the filming news so far has been quite sparse, like there's news all the time of new sets being built and there's actually a big one at Money Glass being built right now, a lot of people are speculating on the fact that it may be King's Landing, but I think within another two weeks or so, probably by the end of December, going into the new year, which is my birthday by the way, happy early birthday Sir Hunts, I'll be, I'll be 28 years old on January 1st, so you can leave me an early birthday comment down below if you want to, or you can send me $500, I don't know, but either way, I figure by then, by by around, let's say, mid-December, early January, filming will be intensively ramped up, meaning they're actually going to be filming scenes outside. It won't just be, like, new sets being built. So I think the main reason for that is, one, obviously, you know, season seven ended a lot later than it normally does, with it ending in August, you know, damn near September, and also they need as much snow on the ground as possible. You know what I mean? This is going to be the last season of Game of Thrones. They want to get it perfect, and I'm not going to sit here and bitch and complain about why the uh, spoilers haven't been as rampant. It's honestly kind of been nice to be left 
for a mystery up in the air. Like, we know they're filming. It's most likely scenes indoors. So I just can't wait till these battle scenes get filming outdoors and videos will be coming on those. You guys down below, let me know your opinion on the spoilers coming out. Has it been nice to be, you know, left out of the loop or has it been annoying because you're trying to get your Game of Thrones fix and there's no new news to satisfy that fix? Let me know down below in the comments section. I want to thank you all so, so much for watching. If you could please slap a like on this video, go ahead and subscribe, then make sure you have your notifications turned on so that way you get alerted every single time I drop Game of Thrones videos. If you want to be entered into Sir Hunt's holiday giveaway, all you have to do is like this video, leave a comment down below, subscribe to me here on YouTube, hop on Twitter and on Instagram and follow me, and follow the other instructions that are listed on the Gleam.io link down below in the description. I want to thank you all so, so much for watching. Super special shout out to my two executive producers, Terry Melendez and Mario Rodriguez. Without you all these videos would not be possible And another super special shout out to all of my other patrons Over on patreon.com If anyone watching would like to show your support to Sir Hunts All you have to do is check out the link down below in the description And you can go view my Patreon My name's Mark, I want to thank you all so so much for watching This has been Sir Hunts Reviews